Um, one thing that I have always believed in, um, but never really understood the importance until I came to Dartmouth, um, was believing in the power of young people. Um, that's something that I, as a young person, even as early as in middle school or high school, um, kind of just exploring the world and, you know, looking at the person next to me or people thousands of miles um, away from me or anywhere around the world and understanding what young people's experiences are wherever um, and what really what impact young people have in all different corners of the world um, is truly important to me. Um, I think along with that, uh, I believe that the the power of young people is very dependent on um, the ability of older, um, and, and not even older by age, but even in experience, leaders to acknowledge that young people are some of the strongest and brightest and innovative minds in the world, um, and that if we if we want to solve any challenge, big or small, that young people truly have. Um, what it takes to solve these challenges. And regardless if they're the ones at the forefront of the conversation or the ones devising the solution, um, keeping just keeping young people always involved and on the team um, right away, I think, teaches young people what it, what it takes to um, solve problems, large or small. I think, um, you know, when I, when I came to Dartmouth from Iowa, I didn't know anyone and I had never spent um, more than you know a week or so on the East Coast. And so when I came to Dartmouth, I knew that this was an incredible opportunity for me to not only you know get out of my own state, but also to get out of my comfort zone and learn about different people, um, different experiences, different cultures, different ways of life. Um, and so as I began to do so, um, one of the one of the ways I I think I started to sort of jump in was to attend all the different lectures that Dartmouth hosts. So Dartmouth, you know, because of the um, strength of our institution, we welcome all these really renowned leaders to our campus. And and I would go into all of these lectures, and I would you know frivolously write down notes, and it, you know as if I was like in a lecture for class. And um, you know a lot of my friends sometimes will make fun of me, but I will get in really intense discussions with them about certain you know, aspects of our world and ask them questions because for me, I learn best by talking with others and asking questions. And one question I would always ask, um, raise my hand and ask of, of these you know, just incredibly experienced um, and well-known leaders is, so what, what do you have to say to young people? How do young people get involved in and I define a young person as anyone from the age of, you know, six or seven to, you know, I still, I guess, see myself as a young person, a young adult, a young leader. Um, and a lot of times what really surprised me is that these people who, you know, have, have changed the world or on paper are, you know, the most incredible, uh, really dynamic uh, people and individuals, they never had an answer. And it would always, they would say, you know, we'll stay in school and study a lot. Or, you know, I, I went to um, a conference in like the All Ivy League and listened to one, um, again, you know, well experienced leader speak. And I said, so what do we do? And he said, well, you know, you should make sure to learn a foreign language and you should study in another country and you should study, you know, choose a major that gives you this interdisciplinary, you know, background in some issue that you're passionate about. And even as a junior, I sat there and knew that not only I have done this, but so many of my peers have. So, like, what does that mean? Like, I, you, know, you sit there and you're like, check, check, you know, we are so fortunate we've done those things. So how do you challenge me then? And, you know, do you, should I give you my resume right now and say, can you offer me a job? Or, you know, if, if these problems are so uh, complex, then why am I not being taught to understand them in a deeper level and in a deeper context now? 
Um, and I think that, you know, maybe not all young people are ready for that. Not all college students, uh, you know, or, or, you know, students at all are ready to take on that responsibility. But I do believe there are a significant amount um, of individuals around the world who are. And if they are, then why not get started now? I guess one way I would first respond to the question um, is say that one thing I learned coming out of high school is to truly be the, a great leader of an organization, you're able to completely lead the organization and it still functions in full capacity. Um, and so what that means to me is that in people in grades below, or yeah, in grades below me, that I have to work with them and empower them to not say this is the exact vision of the organization, this is where everything needs to go, but give them the tools they need to be a successful leader of the organization. Um, and then, you know, pull myself away and not always maintain such a strong hold on the ownership of the organization, but allow it to flourish um, and allow it to change um, and, and be changed by those younger leaders. And um, so that's, I think, one thing I've tried to do, especially with an organization on campus called Linka, uh, which is a mentoring organization for Dartmouth women um, that I uh, founded with a couple of seniors when I was a first year, and then was the director of the program, and then have slowly tried to kind of pull myself away to see if, if you know, what, what would happen. and really to learn for myself what did I do wrong here, what did I what did I learn from this experience. I think in the same light of being student body president, the second that the new person is elected, I feel really strongly that it's important um, that they take over right away because the learning curve is steep, um, but one doesn't learn unless they learn, right? So giving them the opportunity to have those experiences even though I'm still on campus and sure maybe I could continue to be the leader of the organization but it's not gonna it's not gonna help uh, build the organization because I'm leaving and so to kind of realize come to that realization and then know that my place right now is to do everything I possibly can to help this person um, take over this organization and be incredibly equipped to do so. Um, so I think those are a couple of examples. Um, I, I think that it's also this belief for me has transpired in the way that I know looking forward, whatever path I choose, whether you know I go to med school, whether I choose to go into the business world, whatever I do, I have always vowed to myself that I will um, I will be very cognizant of the young people around me and I think it's it's so important that you know you, you hear about great mentorship you hear about great teachers or professors and when you build that relationship even just with one young person uh, it, it can change lives and um, just going forward and and thinking whether it's internships at the organization that I'm a part of or at the practice in which I work that I am always uh, providing opportunities and actively engaging um, those younger generations just to help them learn and, and providing them with an environment where they feel comfortable asking questions.